Hey everyone, it's Megan from Bookish Blitz. And this video is my top 10 favorite movies of all time. And this was a requested video by Smoothie Lover 07, I think is the username that requested this. And it was very hard to narrow down these movies because I'm not a big movie person. Like, I much prefer watching TV shows than movies. But there are some that I truly do love and I will probably always love. And there are some movies that I have listed that are series. So instead of signaling out one movie in the series, then I just include it series because I love the series as a whole so let's get started so this is in no particular order and I only have some of these movies I don't have all of them so I will pop the photos of the movie poster or movie cover or whatever on screen so you can see so let's just jump right into it so the first one I have is eight below and I watched this when I was a kid and I have seen it so many times and it stars Paul Walker. He is one of my favorite actors of all time and it's so sad that he is no longer here. This deals with, I think he is in Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. I can't exactly, it doesn't really say on the back where it actually takes place but it is somewhere where it gets really cold and he studies the temperature or gauge something along I can't remember the exact details but he does have a group of dogs who help him to get around places because it's snowing they're sled dogs and basically there is a big storm and there's not enough room in the plane that's like a little tiny plane there's not enough room for all of the dogs so they have to tie the dogs on leave them there for it's only supposed to be like a couple of days like a week most of course they have food and water and they are going to go back and get them but the storm is much bigger than they first realize and they first anticipate that the dogs end up being there longer and it's just basically a survival story for the dogs and then he attempts to go back and look for them himself and to make sure that they are okay and bring them back safe and sound. So it is a really good book. It's kind of sad at parts but it's really nice. I love it and I will continue watching this over and over again. Moving on is a series and this is the Saw series. I only have Saw 2 and Saw Four, I want to get the rest of these movies. Now you probably will not like the images on the movie, so I'm not gonna hold them up for the full duration of me talking about this, but essentially it is a horror and thriller movie and it's not for the squeamish or light-hearted people, but it is a really nice, interesting, intriguing storyline that goes with it and you really have to pay attention to the storyline. There's sometimes where I just, like didn't understand and I had to go back and rewatch something but, and I did see I think the latest movie in the series was like Jigsaw I think it was called and me and my friend watched it and it was really nice it was not really nice it was really gory and I loved it basically it's just like the Jigsaw is the villain I guess you can say and he plays these gruesome and messed up games with people because they all have some type of secret that they don't want anyone to know and they have to play the games to survive and they don't go untouched. There will be some pain inflicted in some way to them. So the next series that I really like is the Fast and Furious series. There's me, there's at least eight total, maybe nine, I'm not quite sure. And there has been a new, uh, a newer movie that's out that is, I think it follows along Dominic Toretto and Agent Hubs. I can't quite remember. I haven't kept up with it in the last couple of 
years and I just want to get back into watching those movies. Those are one of my top favorites. If you're not familiar with that, Paul Walker also stars in the majority of those movies along with Vin Diesel. And next we have another series which is Harry Potter and that is based on books by JK Rowling. I just finished reading all the books in September. I had two more books to read and finally finished it. I haven't watched all the movies previously but I have been going back and watching the movies after reading the books to see the differences and similarities and just see how much difference there is. Love the movies growing up. Love the books now. I will say that the later books were my favorites instead of the earlier books and it's just a really good magical series. And then another series of movies that I liked is the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are over 20 movies in that universe now and that is Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, Spider-Man, there's Black Panther now and it's just, and then they have like the Avenger movies as well. There's Doctor Strange. There's just so much in that universe. Ant-Man is another one. I think Black Widow might have a movie coming out or is out or in the progress. But you know, it's just action packed. There's a really big storyline and they all somehow flow together and just somehow connect to each other so it is one that you should watch in order not chronological order but just in like the MCU order I love the series I can't really pick a favorite movie but I will say that I really do love Thor and Captain America the most I would say but I don't have like a like an actual favorite top favorite movie in that universe. Next we have Pitch Perfect. I really love any movie that has music involved in it because I am kind of a musical person so I've just always loved musicals. I don't really watch many musicals but just any movie that has like a musical aspects in it that I really like. So Pitch Perfect is one and that's the one with Anna Kendrick and Brittany Snow I think is another one. Just Anna Camp. There's a few really good actors and actresses in that movie, and it's really nice, really funny, and it's one that I will continue watching. Moving along with more musical movies, we have Walk the Line, and this is based on Johnny Cash and his life and how he got into music and just everything about his his life. And it's a really good movie. This one has Joaquin Phoenix in it as well as Reese Witherspoon. And it's a really nice story. Kind of tragic, sad, but still a really nice story. And I would recommend it to any Johnny Cash fan out there. Another music movie that I like is an actual musical and this is The Sound of Music and I watched it when I was a little kid, fell in love with it and just can, I watch it every so many years now like I'll go back and rewatch it and I just really really like it. It's one that I will always love. I think that Sound of Music will always be like one of my top movies because these like were not these will probably not stay the same. This list will not stay the same as I watch more and more movies that come out. But I think The Sound of Music will always be on this list. Then next is also another musical movie and that is A Star is Born. And this features Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. And fun fact about this movie, Lady Gaga wanted all of the singing and music in this movie to be live during filming and not pre-record it in a studio so that's a little little fun fact for you guys there and I must say that Bradley Cooper is a really good singer now he did go into guitar lessons and voice lessons for this movie and for his character and it does have a sad ending 
But again, it's a really nice story and I would recommend it to any Lady Gaga fan or any Bradley Cooper fan. And then the last movie is not a musical, but it is another action-packed movie and that is The Maze Runner. And this is based off of the book by James Dashner, Maze Runner. This is a trilogy and I do believe all three books turned into the three movies. Now, I will say that the movies did not get better with each one. I didn't really care for the last one, The Death Cure, but The Scorch Trials is the second movie. It wasn't all that bad, but the Maze, the Maze Runner is where it's at. I really enjoyed the first movie, and that's where my love of Dylan O'Brien came from. I really liked him, because I didn't really, I wasn't really into Teen Wolf. When this movie came out, I was kind of starting team, watching Teen Wolf the TV show that stars Dylan O'Brien, and this one also got into watching the Maze Runner the movie, so they kind of, yeah, but that's where my love of Dylan O'Brien stemmed from. And he's a really good actor, and there's quite a few other really good actors in it. So those are all of the movies, but here's a few other movies that I really love. That I it's hard to pinpoint these movies because like I said I don't really watch that many and usually I'll find something that I don't like about them but here are a few more that I liked I liked the Hunger Games series as a whole and we have Wonder that's also based off a book the boy in the striped pajamas movie more than the book I think I talked about that in a previous video so those are the top 10 plus like three movies and series that I liked. Thank you for the video suggestion. If you have any other video suggestions or comments, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon to be notified for whenever I post a new video. And I'll see you next time.